The Visionary Art of Joseph Rael. Joseph Rael is a Picarus Ute elder. He's a teacher, guide, medicine man, and author, and is a remarkable artist and visionary seer. Joseph's drawings and paintings are generators of light. And like the ancient language he speaks, Tiwa, his art is multidimensional and layered with illuminating images within images. His profoundly encouraging story of our evolution as a journey through many worlds also describes our potential for awakening in every moment. Joseph's art is illuminated by the beauty of divine presence from the first sparks of awareness to the realization that we are now the co-creators of a new beginning. Creativity, after all, is the beauty that we seek. And that beauty, when we seek it, takes us to a higher realm. And that beauty is fused with the light of, a, of radiance, a radiating light which places itself in a way that it carries not only the ordinary reality, but the non-ordinary reality. The First World The Secret of Divine Guidance Wemu We see being and vibration coming from the realm of the unexpected. And there are two beings to the side, and those two beings represent the ordinary and non-ordinary realities in the first world, which is the vibration of Wemu. They're looking at the next world after this one. The second world. Winter sunrise. Ancient calendar of the first people. Wese. Duality, divine longing, the intimate relationship between the human and the sacred. And the black pottery means uh, a happening measured in awareness. The north and the south carry in the east and the west as the people continue on their journey. The Third World Honoring Song for Three Moons Pachu The Creator's divine potential powers our movement, sending us what we need from the vastness of creation. And this image then brings us the vibration of our people. The peop because some of the people um, were extraterrestrials. For now they had the assistance of the uh, uh, celestial uh, groups and the first time they understand the celestial connection with the heavens, th these beings come to help them. Song of the Mountain Sheep Dance, We. In the fourth world, receiving the gift of life, our bodies, our minds, our hearts, and our spirits, we ascend and we dance. And this is the spiritual galaxy. The spiritual galaxy being the non-ordinary world in tune and in vibrance, in vibration with the ordinary world. Hanu the fifth world of Spider Woman and the people of the rain flowers. We are at the center of the vast self of light, the infinite and eternal light. Aya Chichi is the story of Spider Woman. For Spider Woman was made of the heavens and of the earth and the, the center of the circle of light, which was full of awareness. 
colors of light of the sacred earth, the sixth world, the sixth sun, step six, mashle. All of ancient wisdom comes present, and in accord with spiritual laws, we blossom. And what I saw was uh, inside of this pottery made of light were the father, mother principle, and I saw their hands holding up. Wem away sepachu, we annu. Five beings coming from, as I know them now, the hand of God. They were looking into the heavens, and these heavens where there were many, many worlds that lived in existence. When belief is created, Cho'o, our return to innocence, to new beginnings, to manifesting a new world from our hearts. It was the seventh world. When the belief is granted, we would learn how to believe in the vibrations of ancient wisdom. From here on, the people then would go forth in the world of promise, in the world of delight. And since we are both of those vibrations, it will carry us beyond all of the celestial levels in which we merge with the spiritual as well as the physical light and we become one thought of goodness, kindness, and the essence, a sense of one with all of the eternities that we, that we came from in the beginning and how we find ourselves now in this place of divine presence.